It's a dark, bleak day for the world, for Europe in particular. War is back on the continent that uh, was promised by our European Union that war would never be back on our soil. Uh, Vladimir Putin uh, is to blame entirely for taking this step, but at the same time, NATO must be condemned for creating the circumstances leading to Putin's uh, escapade in the Ukraine. We have to stop this war right now, and we have to work very hard to stop any NATO escalation. We have to uh, create international solidarity in order to ensure that the people of Ukraine live in peace, uh, not under the boot of any army. The European Union is the greatest loser uh, from what's happening, apart, of course, from the people in the Ukraine who are suffering the slings and arrows of war. The European Union is discredited. It has failed completely in its mission, which is to uh, keep um, our eastern uh, flank uh, free of war. Uh, and now what we have is um, essentially adopting the NATO language, as if the European Union is simply an appendage of NATO. Uh, and also huge amounts of hypocrisy. The number one priority now is for a serious diplomatic initiative that sorts this mess out by giving Putin something that he can present the Russian people with as a victory. And that's something that would not have any costs for anybody around the world, would be for a declaration by NATO, by the United States, that Ukraine will not become a member of NATO in exchange for troop withdrawal from the side of uh, Vladimir Putin, that he takes back his, that he stops, seizes uh, all hostilities and removes all troops from Ukrainian soil. I believe that that would be potentially the foundation for a peace deal that would be in the interest of humanity, not just of the, of the Ukrainians.